Well, Tennessee and Pittsburgh postponed already. Third week into the season, coming into the fourth week. Tennessee, Pittsburgh postponed possibly till Monday or Tuesday due to the coronavirus. Uh, three Tennessee Titan players and five personnel players tested positive this last weekend. Minnesota, we're yet to hear about. I know they had to close down their facilities this week, so we will wait to hear about them. So welcome in to another episode of Sports Talk for you. A lot going on in the NFL this week. Um, let's get to this past weekend. We had another Russell Wilson MVP type weekend. Russell Wilson five touchdowns should have been six. I guess but it should have been. We know DK Metcalf got too cocky, got the ball knocked out by Diggs for a touchback, which was should have been a touchdown. So technically, Seattle should have had 45 points on the board. But again, another fantastic game by Russell Wilson. Patrick Mahomes shines, outshines Lamar Jackson. So don't give me none of this. Lamar Jackson is better than Patrick Mahomes because Jackson didn't even break 100 yards yeah, passing. No. And did he even break 100 yards rushing? No, he had 84 no. yards rushing, 97 yards passing. So just another flop by Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I got, I got two things. Uh, that uh, Seattle and Dallas game, okay? My whole view on Dak Prescott is this. He could throw for 800 yards a game, but when it comes down to needing him to make a play, he won't do it. Nope. Period. And that's End exactly of story. What Jerry Jones said. Yeah. Jerry and Jones said if it was Tony Romo or Patrick Mahomes, Dallas would have came back and won mm -hmm. that game. Yeah. And don't forget that first half interception with 30 seconds to go, and Seattle correct. comes down, scores a touchdown right before half. So that was a big, big play right there. Yeah. I mean, that's 14 I mean, points he on took, the board. He took a big sack. You know, um, he almost took another sack and then threw the interception. Oh, but it's not his fault, even though he fumbled and then threw another pick earlier, which yeah. led to 14 points. Because you see the way Mahomes scrambles. When he sees that bucket yeah. closing, he will try to make a play. Is that, and that's Prescott another. Prescott just stands there. No, he just stands you know, you there. You can't do that. And Look you at know Russell what? Wilson. He does the same thing. Right. He'll and, scramble. He'll make a play. Yep. And Amazing. here's the thing about Prescott. When he had his great year his first rookie year my <laughs> mind you tony romo was behind him you know telling him what to look for and stuff had one of the best years that he's had okay that's without a doubt uh definitely less interceptions and all that but the thing of it is is his rookie year he ran the ball more than he threw it or it was equal to or whatever but the point is is he ran the ball okay and he was successful out at it. But then as the years have gone on, he's been more of a pocket passer with a mix, a tiny bit of the run. But here's the deal. When he runs, he's successful. Why yeah. doesn't he do it more? I don't know. Yeah. When he beat Russell Wilson in the playoff game, it wasn't his arm that won that game. It was his, his legs. legs. Okay. Let's so, not forget when Elliott has over 85 yards yeah. rushing. Right. You know, yeah, they no. They win games, but only... I believe he only had 30 yards rushing and 20-some mm -hmm. yards passing. Yeah, wait, seconds. when Elliott does not get 80 to 85 yards, they lose, plain and simple. I mean, Dak could have 500 yards, 600 yards passing, but they'll lose. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying um, Zeke had this great game. He's partly to blame because, honestly, he, three he dropped. three drop passes. Was it three or three, four? Three drop passes. Yeah. I mean, and you know, it's just inexcusable. It's inexcusable. He's kind of had a rough year because if you go back right. to the Falcons, I think he had one or two fumbles. Yeah, something, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and that was all in the first half. But here's the point. This Cowboys team with their with their <laughs> roster should not be one in no, they one and two. Three and oh. it, they should be three and zero. Oh. I mean, let's let's get real. They should have been zero oh and three. And all I gotta say is, if that Cleveland game is even close. Mm -hmm. Oh, There's right. something wrong. There is definitely that be something a wrong. Coming it, up it should be, on but Sunday. I'm not holding my breath because you know why? They did not sign Earl Thomas. <laughs> they don't have a safety. Speaking of, the Texans get Earl Thomas, it's, which is so the random. Houston Texans. Yeah, who's 0 and 3? And but it's like, what does it take? Instead of getting a wide receiver that they need, they go out and get a cornerback mm -hmm. so, or safety. Yep. And right. they need a safety. I I mean, we've been saying this for how many years? Speaking of the Houston Texans, did we expect them to start off 0-3? Yeah. 
Mm. I mean, it was a I tough, mean, tough it, first three games. It was tough. Ravens, Chiefs, Steelers. Yeah. Steelers, they should have won. I think the Steelers game that they should have won, but the other two games, yeah, they yeah, those are expected. They could have. But um, anyway, I just you know I'm so disappointed in this Cowboys team. It's not even funny. And Jerry Jones, I don't know what it takes for you guys to go out and get a safety, but this is ridiculous. So. Yeah. That's my old two cents on the <laughs> Seattle Dallas, and this is coming from a Dallas fan, but nothing surprises me anymore, you exactly. know. So, anyway, <laughs> so we will have more coming up on our next show. As of now, we have to cut this one short. We will have another show coming up tomorrow. We'll be sure to get that to you guys. Go ahead and subscribe.